What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Friends, it's Michelle here. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'd say welcome to my channel, y'all. <laughs> Today's video, it is a different video. It is actually a story time. I didn't know story time were a thing here on YouTube until a friend of mine recommended me to do a story time. I took it to my Instagram and I said, hey, what kind of story topic you guys want me to talk about? And a lot of you guys wanted to know how I met my husband and how has it been for this years that we've been together. So I decided to do this story time, how I met my husband. So I'm really excited to share our story with you guys. And um, I really hope you enjoyed the story. Before we get into the story, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, to be part of my beautiful girlfriend squad here. And as usual, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Francis 2 sshop So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the story. So I've never done a story time, guys. So I'm just going to try to get very comfortable. Like if you guys are like legit in front of me. Not just, a, not just me speaking to a camera, but like I have my girlfriends here. Alright guys, so I've been married for a total of 10 years. Yes, you were probably like, Francis, 10 years, how old are you? Okay, let's put it out there. I am 31 years old. I'll be turning 32 in September. So in two months, this girl right here, actually two months exact, because it is July 12th. So in two months exact, I'll be 32. <laughs> I'm not a baby. I'm not a child. I'm a grown woman. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so I've been married for 10 years. Um, I've been living in Florida since I was nine years old. I... I um, went to Puerto Rico when I was, what, 19 years old? I went to, I moved to, back to Puerto Rico when I was 19 to um, go to school over there, go to college. I wanted to become a nurse. And one of the best schools um, to study nursing was actually in Puerto Rico. So I decided to move back to Puerto Rico with my mom. She was at that moment, she was, um, she was very delicate of health. So I had to have help help me out um, to take care of health. Of, to take care of her, but at the same time, I wanted to kind of go to school and work, and I said, well, I might as well just go to Puerto Rico, go to school there, and my family, my mom's family can take care of her while we are at Puerto Rico, and I can go to school. So I went to school in Puerto Rico, and a year after I was in Puerto Rico, I was determined that I was never going to meet a guy. I was like, okay, that's it. I'm in Puerto Rico, and we have hot guys everywhere. And Puerto Rico is like, I'm from I'm from here, so I want to be able to meet someone and marry someone. Actually, no. I said I want to be able to meet someone from Puerto Rico. I never in a million years thought that I would get married. I never in a million years thought that I would have kids. I was this one woman, this girl growing up saying, I'm never going to get married. I'm never going to trust anyone. And um, I'm never going to have kids. I'm going to live that New York fashion Paris lifestyle. So in Puerto Rico, I am... Um, I... I was actually in church, but at the same time, I was out hanging out. I was out having a good time. But this one night, my cousin invited me back to church. She was like, hey, girl, you need to come to church. Um, we're having a summer camp, and a lot of churches from a lot of places over Puerto Rico are going to meet in the church, and it's going to have a good time. It's going to be amazing. You should come on, try it out. So I did. I ended up going to this summer camp that they had, and I remember um, sitting at the far right of the church, and here comes this tall guy just walked in the doors like he owned the place and sat like three rows behind me and I was like how come I've never seen this dude ever like a hey. so I see that everybody from the current church I'm in went to him and started talking to him and started like seeing like say hi to him and this is and that and I was like so then he has to be from this church he has to be from my cousin's church he's not from anywhere else so um i was like okay i'll see you so we broke we went to break and then when we came back i kind of sat like across from him and um i kind of left a chair in between to kind of see if he took the hint like hint 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 like hey i have a chair right here you want to go ahead and sit but man he did not take the hint he did not sit next to me so i see i saw church camp is over and i saw i saw that he was pretty much like someone known from our from my cousin's church so i went all it was actually june i went to church every friday night from june to like september trying to see if i was able to see him again this guy disappeared like a goat he never came back to church and i gave up i was like whatever i'm never gonna see this guy i'm never gonna get to meet this guy like 
if that was your one chance, Francis, and you blew it, you missed it, you suck, you're just a loser. That's pretty much what I told myself. So, like, a couple of months passed by, and then my cousin, I stopped going to church again, and my cousin hits me up, and he's like, yo, um, we're bringing over a comedian, you should come out and check him out. And I was like, nah, I'm good, I'll stay. He was like, no, you should really come out. He's mad funny, and I was like, a Christian comedian? Like, I've never seen that in my life. So I was like, all right, whatever, bet. So I got dressed, and I headed to church, and I went to church, and here I am in church. Um, I'm actually worshiping in middle worship, and um, behind me, I hear people like, like saying hi to people and I was like these people are mad loud like we're in church we're in church tone it down so when I like I'm praising here I'm praising God right over here and I looked down and I remember seeing this pointy ass white shoes a long time ago and I was like I remember those shoes those shoes were the same shoes as the guy that I saw at summer camp was wearing and I was like could it be him Oh my god so when I I kind of like did this like kind of looked over to my shoulder like hey I'm trying to praise here y'all need to shut the heck up <laughs> and when I look over my shoulder ah to my surprise it was the same guy it was him right there and I was just like okay all right and so I kept on like nothing like hey I'm not here to I don't care if you're here or whatever so the service went on um and I went outside to leave and I was like, I went to the car. I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? I have to do something. I cannot let him leave again. And God knows when I'm going to see him again. I have to do something. So I saw him. He was talking to a friend of, that was very close. One of the guys that was kind of close to me from church. And I saw he was talking to him and I was like, that's it. That's what's going to be. So I hit him up and I'm like, hey, yo, um what are you doing and he was like oh nothing what are you why what are you gonna do and i was like oh i don't know i was just gonna see if you guys want if you wanted to go to mcdonald's or something um and he was like oh i'm with a friend of mine and bam there goes his name all right and i was like what's his name he's like eomar and i was like oh my god like i didn't to this day i didn't even know his name i didn't want to ask my cousin that one time because my cousin was very overprotective of me so i was like wow, he has a nice name. And I was like, well, I'm going to go to McDonald's by myself. I want to get some, um, I want to get me an ice cream with fries if you're down to chill. And he was like, yeah, yeah, bet, let's do it. So he told his friend and we met, they met me, they met up with me at McDonald's and he was like, hey, I want you to meet Francis, Francis is Yomar and da da da. And I was like, score. So we're here, I'm, I'm in McDonald's with him, but his friend is also there. So we're just like, it was kind of awkward. Um, He's like taxing and I was like, okay, you have a girlfriend? He's like, oh, I got like two at the moment. I was like, you got like, what? And then here I am, well, I'm, I'm seeing a guy. Um, he's actually a reggaeton singer. He's going to be in, 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 in this place in, in Puerto Rico. Um, like, where, can, when can I? No, I was actually, no, no, I lied. I was like, he was like, oh, so you're single. And I was like, well, yeah, but I'm, I'm talking to someone. He's actually, I'm actually wanting to go see him tomorrow. He's actually going to be singing um, close by. And he's like, oh, okay, well, I have, like, two girlfriends at the moment. And I'm like, <laughs> I didn't even ask you how many girlfriends you had. And then he went up and said, two girlfriends. I was like, okay, that's it. I'm done with you. While we were wrapping up the night, um, he's like, oh, so you have any plans to, you have anywhere to be? And I was like, nah, I'm just going to go home. And he's like, nah, you need to come hang out with us. And I was like, okay. So I was like, well, I got to leave my car at my aunt's house. Um, I had to ride with you guys. And he was like, okay, let's do it. So we went to my aunt's house. We leave the car there. And I brought, I write with them. This guy from church, he takes me to a freaking nightclub. Like, I was so bad that time. Like, I went from church to a nightclub. So we're hanging out in the nightclub. Mind you, his friend is still there. His third wheel is still there. Um, we're chilling in the club. Um, he brings over a drink, and I'm like, nah, I don't drink that, and this and that. And he's like, oh, okay, I'm sorry, whatever. So... He brings out his phone and he starts showing me stuff on his phone and I grab his phone and I put my phone number in it and I put my name and I give it to him and I was like, you better use this number and he was like, okay. So he goes to the bathroom and I'm here thinking like, what am I doing? Like, this is not me. Like, I'm here giving my phone number to this guy. I was just at church and now I'm here in the club. Like, but mind you, I really trusted his friend. Like, I really trusted deep down his friend. So I'm not like to just sit in a car with anyone so y'all know but then I was like 20 years old so um 
nothing so we get it uh, actually i'm ta- i'm talking to him and i'm like oh i've always wanted to learn how to drive stick shift and he's like oh my car is stick shift you want to go outside i'll teach you i was just trying to look for a way to kind of have me and him to be alone because his friend was always there like his friend was there like he never took a hint so we go outside and we get in the car and i'm trying to find like trying to pretend that i know how to drive stick shift but it's the worst thing ever i just made a fool of myself trying to be funny and um nothing so we get in the car we're heading out back home and i'm texting him while he's in the car like it's him driving his friend the passenger side and i'm in the back and i'm texting him like hey you know you better use your number i had a great time this isn't that and he's texting mind you the guy in the driver's seat his friend has always had a crush on me has always wanted to take me out has always wanted to take me out to dinner take me out for ice cream and i always said no but this night, I used his friend to get to the guy. So I felt kind of bad that I kind of used his friend. I was like, ah! So nothing. We drive home. He takes me home. And I got home like around, I think it was like around 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning. I was living with my aunt at the time in Puerto Rico. And nothing. He was like, he dropped me off. He dropped off his friend and he called me. And it was like 3 o'clock in the morning. We talked for like 7.30. He had to hang up because he had to get, take a shower to go to work. He actually did not sleep anything that night talking to me on the phone. That was like the one time I've ever spoken to someone on the phone for like the whole entire time. Um, we talked about everything. Like there was not a single subject that we did not touch in that conversation. To this day, I remember everything we talked about in that conversation. Um, it was an actual. It was actually October 18th um, when we kind of like went out on this little clubbing date with his friend or whatever. So ever since October 19th, that was our first date. He was like, I'm going to pick you up at 7.30. I'm going to take you out to dinner. That whole day I went out. I dyed my hair. I told my mom to do my hair. I put back my extensions. I did my hair. I went out and bought some nice clothes. My In my house, in my aunt's house, I had everybody. My uncle came out. My three boy cousins came out. My other aunts came out. They found out that I was actually, that if I met a guy and I was going on a date, everyone wanted to meet up. So I was just like, what the hell is this, guys? So he gets to pick me up and um, we went out on a date. For the first time, we went, out, we went out on our first date on October 19th. And to fast forward to 2019, there has not been one single day that we've been apart from each other. Ever since that day, we've been together. And um, kind of like it wasn't like... It wasn't like we started talking and we broke up and then we kind of got back together like three months later. No, ever since that October 19th up to till today's date. Yes, we've had had issues in our marriage, but we have not been apart since that date. It's been 10 years and it was crazy the way we met. It was crazy how everything happened. Um, after that, we kind of like went on that day. He took me out to eat. You know what? I think I talked a lot. How about we bring him in and he can tell us a little bit about his side of the story and how we met because for some reason he's always said that it's been me the one who kind of like was the one who kind of like approached him and grabbed him and took him and all that so let's just go ahead and see what he has to say okay. dime. ¿Qué pasó? No, dime. ¿Qué pasó? Dime. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué tú haces? Voy a hacer un mistake. Vean que un momento, cerca la puerta. Close the door real quick. Baby, say it in like Two minutes. How did we meet? How well, did you meet me? Well, I met you at church. Um, at church. Um, I was in church. I, I was going to praise God, like always. And, and she was staring at me. Like, she was seen to me, like, and she started asking me questions. And she started asking me questions, personal questions about myself. And what? If I have a girlfriend. He's such a liar. And if I have a girlfriend, you know, if I want to be her girlfriend, you know, her boyfriend. Away. you know like all this stuff away. you know so uh, at a moment I, I actually feel for my life oh my gosh shut up and tell them the <laughs> truth no actually we met at church and yeah that we met at church that's it what, what else and then after church you wanted me to get lit you took me to <laughs> a freaking no but hey you but tell give the story bar. between those lines <laughs> tell the story between those lines like actually uh, yeah, it's true. I take out of church to a uh, club, but how you know like how we get together that night? Tell the story. I did. I told the story. I just kind of wanted them to see your side of the story. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and then she grabbed my phone. <laughs> she grabbed my phone and you she gave put, it to me. No, she grabbed my phone from the bar 
and she put her phone number. I didn't know that she recorded her phone number there. So I was, no, I didn't. It's be such a liar. And then uh, I was in the car and I received a text message. And I look at it and it was like, it says like, oh, I, this is my number. I hope you use it. <laughs> that, is, that is true. You know, it's true. It's be such a liar. And I was like, who the heck is this? Is this Rihanna? Rihanna? Or is Rihanna? It? Rihanna. 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 So, yeah. Pretty yeah. Puerto Rican. I know. I'm Puerto Rican. Whatever. Yeah, so that's how we met each other. Actually. So, you're trying to say that I was the one who hit on you and I was the one who made all the moves. Yes. Oh, you know it's true. No, baby, baby, look at the camera and say that you're not lying right now. I'm not lying. You're such a liar. Yeah. You know, if Jesus come right now, you're going to stay here. You know? All right, so, thank you, babe. Thank tell you. the truth. I'm not leaving until you said what? the truth. That I was, yeah. Well, yeah, I was the one who decided not to let you go that time. Mm -hmm. And I kind of like. I still got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I love you. I love you, babe. I'm making some steak. Yeah, I go. So there you have it, guys. You heard it from him. The story on how we met. You see how guys and women are different. I give you details. I give you everything. He was just like. He threw everything on me, like everything. But yeah, honestly speaking, guys, I was the one who um kind of made the approach. I was the one who kind of like was gonna like I made I made this relationship happen. That's all I have to say. So that's how we met, guys. Honestly, I don't think um there wasn't like much to be honest. Fast forward to ten years, three kids later, we're still together. Um, we're still trying to make this marriage work. We don't have a perfect marriage, but we're trying to have a healthy one, and we enjoy each other's company. We love being together. We love doing everything together. Um, there is not one thing that we don't enjoy doing together. We go on vacations together. We just love being each other's company. I feel like when you marry the right person. Everything around you in your life just makes more sense. And if you have God in the middle of a relationship, everything's going to work out, to be honest. Um, it is not going to be easy, but it's definitely going to be worth it. And I have to say, God bless me with an amazing husband, amazing father, amazing befriend, amazing provider. Um, and I could never ask for a better, better, better husband than what God gave me. So I'm truly, truly blessed. And I'm excited that my cousin invited me that night to church because God knows that maybe... Maybe I wouldn't have met him. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys liked the video. Don't give it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoy this story time. Yes, I'll be doing more story times for you in the near future. And as usual, don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and thank you guys so much for watching. Muchas besos. I'll see you ladies on my following video. Adios.